Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into the IT Knowledge Base YouTube channel. I am thrilled to have you here. Whether you are a seasoned IT pro or just starting your tech journey, this channel is your go-to source for all things in IT, information and cyber security related. From troubleshooting tips to deep dive into the latest technologies, we have got you covered here. Hit that subscribe button and let's explore the fascinating world of IT together. In this video training, I will discuss the top 6 IT risk assessment frameworks that you should know to understand better and shape what fits your organizations. So what is IT risk assessment frameworks? Formal risk assessment methodologies can help take the guesswork out of evaluating IT risk if applied appropriately. Technology is one of the greatest assets companies have essential to running or supporting many business processes. It's also one of the biggest risks. That's why IT risk assessment frameworks are vital. In a dynamic IT ecosystem, robust risk management frameworks are crucial. As the digital ecosystem becomes increasingly complex, proactive risk management promotes resilience and security across industries. Here are top 6 IT risk assessment frameworks learning. Number 1. COBIT Control Objectives for Information and Related Technology is a framework from Information Systems Audit and Control Association or ISACA, an international professional association focused on IT governance for IT management and governance. It's a broad and comprehensive framework developed to support understanding, designing and implementing the management and governance of enterprise IT. So what it does? COBIT defines the components and design factors to build and sustain a best fit governance systems according to Azaka. The latest version of COBIT is 2019, including six governance principles. Provide stakeholder value, holistic approach, dynamic governance system, governance distinct from management, tailored to enterprise needs, and end-to-end -end governance system. How it operates? The framework is designed to be focused on business and defines a set of generic processes for the management of IT components. Each process is defined along with process inputs and outputs, key activities, objectives, performance measures, and an elementary maturity model. So what's notable? Isaka says implementation of COBIT is flexible, enabling organizations to customize their governance strategy via the framework. COBIT, through its insatiable focus on governance and management of enterprise IT, aligns the IT infrastructure to business goals and maintains strategic advantage. It gives a plan for creating a putting into action, keeping an eye on and improving IT management and controls. The all-around method of COBIT ensures that IT works with business goals and adds value. For governance and management of corporate IT, COBIT is a must. Number 2 FAIR Factor Analysis of Information Risk is a methodology for quantifying and managing risk in an organization. It's the only international standard quantitative model for information security and operational risk. According to the FAIR Institute, research-driven not-for-profit organization dedicated to advancing the discipline of cyber and operational risk management. What it does? FAIR provides a model for understanding, analyzing, and quantifying cyber risk and operational risk in financial terms. According to the FAIR Institute, it's unlike risk assessment frameworks that focus their output on qualitative color charts or numerical weighted scales. Instead, it builds a foundation for developing a robust approach to information risk management. How it operates? FAIR is primarily concerned with establishing accurate probabilities for the frequency and magnitude of data loss events. It is not a methodology for performing an enterprise or individual risk assessment, but provides a way for organizations to understand, analyze, and measure information risk. Components include a taxonomy for information risk, a standardized nomenclature for information risk terms, a method for establishing data collection criteria, measurement scale for risk factor, a computational engine for calculating risk, and a model for analyzing complex risk scenarios. So what's notable in FAIR? FAIR's quantitative cyber risk assessment is applicable across sectors and now emphasizes supply chain risk management and securing technologies such as Internet of Things or IoT and artificial intelligence. Because it uses a quantitative risk management method, FAIR helps organizations determine how risk will affect their finances. This method lets you choose where to put your security money and how to balance risk and return the best. 
नंबर थ्री आई एस ओ आई ई सी ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन is an international standard that offers guidance on how to manage information security it was originally published jointly by the iso and the international electronic commission iec in 2005 with subsequent revisions so what it does iso iec 27001 provides companies of any size and from all sectors with guidance for establishing implementing maintaining and continually improving an information security management systems according to iso how iso iec operates it promotes a holistic approach to information security including vetting people policies and technology information security management systems or isms implemented according to this standard is a tool for risk management cyber resilience and operational excellence according to the iso so what's notable in iso iec 27001 Conformity with ISO IEC 27001 means an organization has put in place a system to manage risks related to the security of data owned or handled by the organization. ISO IEC 27001 standard gives you a structured way to handle private company data and keep it safe. It's used worldwide and helps businesses keep their information safe and manage it. Number 4 NIST Risk Management Framework The Risk Management Framework or RMF from the National Institute of Standard and Technology a US government agency that advances measurement science standard and technology provides a comprehensive repeatable and measurable seven step process organizations can use to manage information security and privacy risk it links to a suite of NIST standard and guidelines to support the implementation of risk management programs to meet the requirements of the federal information security modernization act or fisma so what it does rmf provides a processes that integrate security privacy and cyber supply chain risk management activities into the system development life cycle according to nist the risk based approach to control selection and specification considers effectiveness efficiency and constraints due to applicable laws directives executive orders policies standards or regulations how rmf operates there are seven rmf steps are number 1 prepare essential activities to prepare the organization to manage security and privacy risks number 2 categorize sorting systems and information that processed stored and transmitted based on an impact analysis Number 3 select selecting the set of controls to protect systems based on risk assessment implementing deploying the controls and documenting how they are deployed Number 5 assess determine if the controls are in place operating as intended and producing the desired results Number 6 authorize a senior executive makes a risk based decision to authorize the system to operate and number 7 monitor continuously monitoring control implementing and risk to systems so what notable in rmf rmf provides a procedural and orderly process that will help an organization embed security into its overall risk management processes thus keeping the organization in step with federal regulations the nist framework is helpful because it provides a complete plan for finding evaluating and reducing risks It also organizes the inclusion of security and risk management tasks in the system development life cycle ensuring that security issues are considered from the start. Number 5 Octave the operationally critical threat asset and vulnerability evaluation developed by the computer emergency readiness team or cert at Carnegie Mellon University Pittsburgh city in Pennsylvania. is a framework for identifying and managing information cybersecurity risks what it does the model defines a comprehensive evaluation method that enables organization to identify the information assets that are important to their missions the threat to those assets and the vulnerabilities that might expose those assets to the threats how it operates by putting together the information assets threats and vulnerabilities organizations can begin to understand what information is at risk according to cmu's software engineering institute and with this understanding they can design and implement a protection strategy to reduce the overall risk exposure of its information assets so what's notable here two versions of octave are available 
Number one, Octave S, a simplified methodology designed for smaller organizations with flat hierarchical structure. And number two, Octave Allegro, a more comprehensive framework suitable for large organizations or those that have complex structures. Octave is great for companies that want to ensure their IT risk management align with their business goals because it works on organizational risk and strategic issues. It focuses on finding important assets and evaluating vulnerabilities help organizations put their security effort correctly. The framework identifies and manages risk from the organizational point of view, which is crucial in giving insight into how different risks can impact various business operations. Number 6. Terra Threat Assessment and Remediation Analysis is an engineering methodology that is used to identify and assess cybersecurity vulnerabilities and select countermeasures that can mitigate those vulnerabilities. According to MITRE, a not-for-profit organization, Terra works on research and development in technology areas including cybersecurity. So what Terra does? The framework is part of MITRE portfolio of system security engineering practices that focus on improving the cybersecurity hygiene and resilience of systems early in the acquisition process. How Terra operates? Terra uses a catalog of stored data to inform the process of identifying attack vectors that can be used to exploit system vulnerabilities, as well as potential countermeasures to prevent their exploitation or mitigate the effects. So what notable in Terra? Terra was originally developed in 2010 and has been used in more than 30 cyber risk assessment. It can be used by organizations to decide which risk to take seriously based on overall business impact. The framework is great for risk studies that focus on threats. It helps groups determine what threat they face and how to stop them. This approach works especially well in place where threats are always changing. Now synoptic summary. IT and cybersecurity leaders can choose from a number of IT risk assessment methodologies depending on the needs of their organization. Here in this video, look at some of the most popular frameworks, each designed to address specific risk areas. IT risk assessments enable organizations to evaluate the risk their systems, devices, and data are facing, whether it's cybersecurity threats, outage, or other events. They also allow them to assess the potential implications of these risks. The main goal of these endeavors is to mitigate any identified risk to avoid negative impacts such as data breaches or non-compliance with regulations. Alright, thanks for watching and that is all for now. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it or if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.